There's some women right here in this auditorium that need to heed this word. You need to hear it. There are some watching live stream that need to hear this. Kathy and I just from time to time just seems like fairly regularly run across a mother who says if only I would have been such and such my child would not be thus and so now. If I had not married so and so when I did it would not have affected my children the way it did. If I had never said or never did such and such, my child would have never become or never done such and such. The word of the Lord to you is this. Grace is not a was factor. Grace is. Grace shall be. Mercy is not a was factor. Mercy is a now factor. One time I was caught out in the cold in the wilderness hunting and the only thing in the vehicle was an old kind of a blanket furniture protection type of thing and it was old and it was musty it was heavy but I was so cold I had to have something so I grabbed that thing and wrapped it around my shoulders the stench of the mildew and the mold filled my nostrils I didn't want to wear it but I just kept wearing it and wearing it there are some mothers who have worn that thing of guilt and regret and remorse there's even a mother wearing that thing like grief see grief is not just shedding tears over someone who has died grief is in direct relationship to loss loss and grief are intertwined I say to you in the name of Jesus, you no longer need that old mildewed garment of grief and guilt and regret. It is off of your shoulders. I tell you that this loving Heavenly Father is the God of now. Children that you are concerned over and grieved over, they're not done in and they're not done for. God is working in their lives today. Why don't we just, as near as you can, you, you have a fair idea where you're facing. Why don't you just kind of point your hand toward where those children are or that child is and just declare over them that the grace of God is working in them today. You might not feel goosebumps. You might not feel chills. You might not feel a heat wave. You might not feel woozy. It doesn't matter. The grace of God is working there in those male and those female children, those older children, those younger children, those children's children. I declare that the grace of God is alive and well. I declare that the mercy of God is alive and well. The sufficiency of God is working in you and working in your behalf. We declare to those prodigals, they're coming home. We're going to stand on that front porch. We're going to put our hand to our, above our eyes and we're going to watch for them to come down that road. Their weary gait, their stumbling, halting steps, but they're coming, come home come home and I tell you mothers that your faith is in a God who never fails who never stops short who is never too late hey he makes all things new let him make all things new I tell you he's making your faith new he's making your hope brand new new hope new hope
fresh hope, fresh faith, fresh grace for now, fresh mercy for this morning. His mercies are new every morning. Hey, let's give the Holy Spirit an opportunity to witness it to our hearts, to our hearts. Oh, I receive.